talk about some, some new vocabularies and definitions. Uh, in my travels and in my experience with trying to make track and field better, uh, I find our, our vernacular, our, our diction is it's different across regions. If you talk with a coach and athlete in California and talk with a coach and athlete in New York, they're, they're probably doing the same exercises, the same um, programs, but they call things different. They have different names for different exercises and different cues for the same movements in the circle. And then that becomes even more complicated if you talk with somebody overseas, somebody who is uh, ES English second language, you know, somebody from Germany or Poland, and you know, they talk with some uh, one coach and another coach, and then it's, it's all different. And so I think it, it'd be important for us to start adapting more uh, universal and maybe some simpler uh, cues that we can use within our community that would be uh, make sharing knowledge much easier. Uh, so this uh, first section is an attempt at that. Um, we're going to talk about the body in the throw. Uh, convention has, has had us be uh, a lower body and an upper body, bottom half and top half. I propose that we move to splitting the body uh, uh, down the center and only considering ourselves with a left side and a right side. So when we approach the rotational throw, um, you have a left side and a right side that you're working with forces, and we're not going to split the body and trying to cause uh, create a separation. 